Election 2024. What it means for Trump as GOP field shrinks. The Republican Party's once crowded 2024 presidential primary field has suddenly shrunk to just a handful of viable candidates. But a day after Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina stunned many of his own staff by suspending his campaign, it's unclear whether the GOP is any closer to coalescing behind a clear alternative to former President Donald Trump. Instead, the fight between Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis for a distant second place appears to be intensifying, and some lower-tier candidates insist on battling for relevance, despite growing pressure to bow out of the race altogether. Meanwhile, Trump's team is cheering on the muddle for second place with Iowa's Jan, 15 kickoff caucuses just two months away. Still, there were new positive signs on Monday for Haley, Scott's South Carolina rival, who had been rising in the Republican contest even before the senator's sudden announcement. Billionaire investor Stanley Druckenmiller, who had given money to Scott, pledged his support for Haley during a Monday interview as he spoke publicly about the 2024 race for the first time. But DeSantis is showing no signs of going away as he narrows his focus on Iowa's lead-off caucuses. The Florida governor's spokesperson, Andrew Romeo, says he has a new opportunity in Iowa with Scott and former Vice President Mike Pence out of the race. He pointed to Iowa's influential group of religious conservatives who have warmed to DeSantis' strong opposition to abortion and LGBTQ rights as part of his aggressive War on Woke. Just last week, DeSantis scored the biggest endorsement of the 2024 campaign by nabbing the backing of Iowa Gov. Kim Reynolds, who promises to lend the Florida governor her folksy charm and her statewide political machine. Tim Scott and Mike Pence were surging resources in Iowa, looking to attract evangelical supporters, and unlike Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis is making headway with those voters, Romeo said. Nikki Haley entered the GOP field early in the race, emerging as one of the first to challenge to Donald Trump. She was once the governor of South Carolina, as well as the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations under Trump. The prominence of the Haley-DeSantis feud underscores just how quickly the 2024 Republican field has winnowed compared to the last time Trump was on the ballot. At this time, in the 2016 primary season, 13 Republican presidential candidates were still competing on the debate stage across two nights. Trump's team is cheering on the feud between Haley and DeSantis, who are largely focused on tearing down each other while the former president remains the overwhelming GOP frontrunner. Privately, Trump's allies believe that Haley will see the biggest short-term polling bump as a result of Scott's departure. The Trump campaign issued a statement on Monday highlighting Haley's plans to invest $10 million in an advertising campaign across Iowa and New Hampshire beginning in early December, which is designed to give her an advantage over DeSantis. In a big blow to Ron DeSanctimonious, a new report notes that Nikki Birdbrain Haley will spend $10 million in advertising skewering DeSanctis in Iowa and New Hampshire, the Trump campaign said, pointing to Haley's recent rise in the polls and using the former president's derisive monikers for the two. She is gaining momentum while he is dropping like a rock. The field is getting smaller and more importantly, the true test of running a long, expensive nationwide campaign is starting to further separate the candidates, showing Americans and power players who amongst the field have the time, resources, popularity, and money to go the distance, wrote Mark Harris, SFA Fund's lead strategist. Meanwhile, some were still grappling with Scott's sudden decision to suspend his presidential bid. The South Carolina senator, the only African-American remaining in the GOP race, surprised most of his staff when he announced his decision during a Sunday night interview on Fox News. In an email to supporters on Monday afternoon, Scott said he felt the message is unambiguous for him. I think the voters, who are the most remarkable people on the planet, have been clear in what they are telling me. Not now, Tim. I do not think they are saying no, but I do think they are saying not now, he wrote. Republican bundler Eric Levine, a Trump critic who raised more than $100,000 for Scott's campaign in recent weeks, praised the South Carolina senator's willingness to step aside for the good of the country. Still, Devin O'Malley, a Republican communication strategist who had advised Pence's campaign, 
warned that coalescing behind a Trump alternative is only the first challenge for Republicans wishing to defeat Trump. The sooner that everyone else gets out, the sooner that Trump's ire is drawn on the one candidate. He's just going to wear people down and out, O'Malley said. That urge to respond to him and to compete with the insults and attacks is overwhelming. I don't think that Haley and DeSantis are conditioned to that.